SQLite is a database that has become popular in the last couple of years. It's simply a file. It is very fast when reading data, and it is being used by more and more applications such as Firefox and Thunderbird and mobile applications. And SQLite 3 is just coming out. It's now in the latest Firefox, and they have a very nice manager as well. If you go to the web here and search in Google for Firefox SQLite Manager. You'll find the add-on. Just go ahead and click on that and just go ahead and install that. Just click install and restart to complete the installation. Restart, close the tabs, wait a couple seconds. Close the window and you have it. It's under tools. It's called SQLite Manager. Here it is. Let's create a database. New database, we'll call it test. And where do we want to put it? We want to put it in C, uh, not in my documents, in my computer, C. See, we installed everything on ZAMP Lite. All of the web files are in HDDocs. All of our webs are in webs. And our current directory, directory is test. So test there, a file already exists. That's okay. You're opening an existing database. I just had a copy of it. You'll have, you'll create it there. So in any case, when you go to your test here, you will see that there's a file now called test.sqlite, and that's the database. So if you want to create a table, you click on create table, ID, data type is integer, primary key, yes, allow null, no, don't allow null, default value. First name is varchar, okay. Last name, bar char, score, integer, done, table name, members. Okay, so now we have a table name called members. If we want to add a row, click on browse and search, add new record. First name, Jim Smith, and the score is 56. Add new record. Sally Brown, score is 67, add new record, Joe Hacker, score 23. So we have three records here in our database, which is in this file right here. We see it's getting bigger. So now what we want to do is in PHP, read the records out of this database. So just as with MySQL, we need a DB object, new, this time PDO. We're going to use the PDO extension here, SQLite, test SQLite. So, by the way, you could use here the SQLite class, but that's only for SQLite 2. And the database that's running in the newest Firefox that we just created with this here, with the SQLite manager, is version 3. And you can tell by here, SQLite version 3.35. And you aren't able to read the SQLite 3 databases with the old SQLite driver. That's why you need to use PDO. So in any case, we need a SQL statement. Select star from members. And we need a result back equals DB query. Same as uh, my SQL actually so far. Actually, that's the whole sense of PDO is to be able to access any database with the same code. Okay, echo, display result. I'm going to put everything in a function again. In fact, this whole function we already made in the MySQL file here. So we can just copy it, MySQL read. Uh, if we go over here, this is the same thing. So I'll close that and just insert it here. The only difference is in PDO, they changed this a little bit. You have to change it like this. So, okay, now that should work. We should get the data that we entered in our SQLite Manager here, Jim, Sally, and Joe, on our website. If we run this, this is called SQLite Read. We have here, this is our manager. We have to go here, SQLite Read. And it says, uncaught exception, PDO exception with message could not find driver. What's that? Well, that is a message that says that it can't find the driver. And the driver for SQLite 3 or for the PDO SQLite, 
applied is in your php.ini file. Where is your php.ini file? Well, if you installed XAMPP, XAMPP Lite, at the beginning of this DVD video, you have under C, XAMPP Lite, and under XAMPP Lite Apache, under Apache you have bin, and in bin you have a PHP file. Double click that, search for PDO, and you will find a string of DLLs. These are the extensions that need to be loaded. If there's a semicolon before a line, that means it's not being loaded. That's a comment. That means it's commented out and it has no effect. So PDO is being loaded. That's fine. But we need to go down here and say the PDO SQLite DLL has to be loaded. So just delete that semicolon at the beginning of the line for PHP PDO SQL, SQLite DLL. So... Now, there are three interesting lines that you should look at here so you don't get them confused. One is PDO, we need that. Another is PDO SQLite, we need that. Now, another is SQLite DLL. We say we need that too, we're using SQLite. The thing is, this is for if you're using SQLite 2. This is for if you're using SQLite 3. So the ones that you should make sure are uncommented are php pdo dll and php pdo sqlite dll now save with control s close then you need to restart apache so those changes take effect click on xamp light double click on xamp restart watch it say a couple things here it killed apache okay please wait and do not close this window while XAMPP is running. Very good idea, otherwise you won't have Apache. So, now we're ready. Let's go back here, reload, and we have all of the names in our SQLite database. Let's just go ahead and change one. So very nice interface, actually. We'll change Sally Brown to two points. Sally Brown two points, go into our website, reload, and Sally Brown has two points. So we see that this page is indeed reading the SQLite database, which is a file in our directory. Here. Right there.